Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tonight we're going to be talking about glamour, glamour magic and glamour rituals in particular. Now I've been getting this question a lot lately as far as what I use for my beauty and glamour and love and attraction routine as far as ritual goes and these are hands down the eight things that work for me the eight tips that I can share with you that you can do that are not only simple and easy but they are really really powerful now that's something that I really want to say is the fact that I don't think that every ritual should be so elaborate and complex I feel like if you're focused if your intent is strong and when you channel that intent if it if that is strong as far as your will then you should have no trouble with seeing the results of any ritual work in your life but that being said there are certain things that you can do that you can incorporate from foods to beauty routine charms and quartz and those types of things that will be able to bring in glamour beauty and attraction so let's start off with the first thing and that is the foods that you eat and the foods that you use in order to bring in the energy of glamour beauty love and attraction into your life I get asked about the food that I eat a lot but when it comes to glamour and beauty the one food that stands out to me the most and well in conjunction well there's three there's three foods that stand out to me the most the first one is papaya I know that's gonna blow people's mind but that's what works for me there's something about the papaya fruit that's connected to the sacral chakra and also the root chakra but not only that the papaya fruit is so powerful when it comes to infusing the the property of glamour and beauty and attraction and also love into your life. Anything that is living has an energy to it and a vibe and then when you eat it, when you ingest it or when you put it on your skin, it will share that property with you. Honey is another food that is absolutely amazing when it comes to glamour, love and attraction rituals. Honey has been used for centuries for all types of magic. Whether you're putting it in a love jar, whether you're putting it in your bath soap, which we'll talk about later, or whether you're ingesting it and putting a little drop of it in your tea. Another food that I like to use, and this really isn't a food more as much as it is a spice, is cinnamon. There's something about cinnamon that is so fiery, so sexy, so sensual, including cardamom, that's another thing too, that if you add it in coffee or tea or in your food, it has this way of bringing in this fiery, sexy essence into your body. And that's what I love. I want it to be not only external, but I want it to be internal. I want it to infuse and to seep out of my pores. So when I'm walking by, you know that I've stepped into a room. So papaya, honey, and cinnamon are my two top pleasure, glamour, love, attraction, desire foods that I, that I want around me inside of me okay <laughs> Ooh, it's getting x-rated i guess another thing that i want to say about papaya and honey is again you can take them internally if you don't have any allergies to it or hesitation to eating honey because i know some of my vegan friends they don't want to indulge in honey and i totally respect that but what i do like to do is to cut the papaya in thin slices really thin slices and put it paint it almost on my skin and when i say paint it what i mean is just kind of put these like thin layers on my skin mostly here on my cheeks and on my forehead and one strip down my nose now what ends up happening is that papaya has this way of kind of evening out the skin tone and brightening the skin tone but not only is it doing that for your face and for beauty but the essence and the energetic property of the papaya which I personally love is infused in your skin and while you're doing that while you're doing that skincare routine think about beauty think about people turning their heads thinking about people breaking their necks because they want to see you you are so stunning when you walk by that they have to look and they have to do a double take and then they're just drawn to you those are my three favorite foods to eat when it comes to glamour magic and ritual now because I just mentioned putting papaya on your skin then I feel like the next step that is the most obvious to talk about is actually skincare outside of the obvious reasons of how important it is to take care of your skin when it comes to glamour beauty and attraction 
in. Number one, rose and hibiscus are absolutely phenomenal when it comes to glamour, love, and attraction. They're so amazing, in fact, that I created a glamour spray, a glamour facial mist that I have in my shop that I use literally every single day. Rose is the most obviously known throughout the witch community for creating beauty, love, attraction, and glamour into any spell or ritual, so it's a natural given that we talk about it here. One thing that I like to do is to create a really simple rose mist spray that you can use for self-love, beauty, attraction, and love. I start off with something really simple, which is rose water. You can get this at any Whole Foods type of store. Then I add roses to them, dried roses and hibiscus. Make sure that they're organic. I specifically create them the day on a full moon. That's me personally because I feel like this is the culmination of all of what makes me awesome and all of what makes me beautiful inside and out coming together match with my intention in order to create a spell, a mist that I use that helps me to feel glamorous every single day that I enchant and set the intention that it, it allows me to see my own beauty but for others to see that as well inside and out. I do have friends that like to create their beauty sprays and their beauty mists on a waxing moon, which makes sense too because that beauty is growing and building up in their life, which I totally understand. But me personally, I would be like, wham, full moon in your face. Boom, here I am. That's just me personally. Also, I have always had such a connection with the full moon, so it's natural for me to work with the energy of the full moon, especially when it comes to self-love and beauty and attraction, because I want everything to manifest and be here in the now. But again, that's just me. Every witch is different. Everyone does their ritual totally different, but that's what works for me. Hibiscus is amazing for attracting in beauty, for enhancing your beauty, for sharing that beauty. I also have found that when I'm working with hibiscus, with love spells, especially with my love oils, it has a tendency to kind of draw in a partner that is of quality. So I've noticed that when I'm working with roses, that the rose itself is so aesthetically ple like appealing and pleasing to the eye, but there needs to be something else beautiful, in my opinion, to kind of balance that out. Because the rose by itself, it just attracts like this physical relationship, this physical love relationship that's a very superficial uh, level. No offense to the rose or anything, but I like to work with all of the energy and all of the elements and the properties of each flower. And it needs to be kind of enhanced and grounded. And I've noticed that flowers like jasmine and hibiscus are strong enough to still be beautiful but also attract in this like really pure higher quality of love relationships when rose can easily be pushed over into the superficial le uh, level of relationships if we're not careful the other thing is not only in relationships but your relationship with yourself i've i've watched people use rose in their glamour magic and be so self-absorbed but then when you balance it off with certain aspects even if you set the intention there's still that tendency to kind of push over to the one side and I like to make sure that it's balanced where it's beautiful inside and out and I feel that the hibiscus is one of those plants one of those flowers also with jasmine that helps to balance out those energies so you're you really are glowing internally and external it's not just superficial level level it's deeper than that so you'll see in my shop if you ever visit the apartment Apothecary that my Miss May beauty spray which is named after my grandmother who was not only stunningly beautiful on the outside But on the inside she was known for being so pure of heart and pure spirit that mist has everything that I use and Is exactly what it is that I use when it comes to my daily glamour Glamour magic my glamour ritual and that is rose hibiscus rose water a, a charged quartz crystal and it was created under the light of the full moon. So that's what it is that you'll find with that. Another thing that I created for myself that I like to use is the Lunar Mist, and that has jasmine in it. You'll see the, the flower jasmine within that mist, and if you need me to, I'll link those things down below. But that's what personally works for me. The Lunar Mist, however, has orange blossom water in it, which is another thing that I recommend when it comes to self-love, attraction, beauty, and glamour. So it's up to you to decide which one 
which one of the recipes that it is that you kind of gravitate toward listen to your vibe listen to your intuition when it comes to making your own concoctions and why you're gravitating to sort certain things but be very careful and mindful about what it is that you're misting on your face because obviously the face on your on the skin on your face is very sensitive so the last thing you want to do is to irritate that and end up having splotchy itches because that's no fun for anyone the next thing that i want to talk about when it comes to glamour rituals is the goddess bath now there are so many different types of these baths and i love 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 a goddess bath i mean i take one once a week minimum i have two favorites in particular that work for me and of course the one is to have a rose water bath soak again rose water in general and roses are so phenomenal when it comes to glamour magic before you set your bath and you can do this anytime under any moon it's up to you but again i personally like to do these type of glamour rituals and bath soaks under a waxing moon or a full moon that's me personally but everyone is different and if i am feeling the vibe to do a, um, a a goddess bath soak on my own when the moon is waning or a new moon that's fine too but it just is it is what it is that's just what i do so under the light of any moon but particularly on a friday fridays are ruled by venus the planet of love beauty and attraction so obviously it makes sense what you want to do is draw yourself a bath now there's two types of baths that you can gravitate towards one is a milk bath which is amazing for attraction beauty and glamour and the other is epsom's epsom salts or a salt bath now the milk bath that i'm going to talk about is something that i that has a connection to aphrodite and cleopatra cleopatra was known for her beauty and glamour magic rituals and spells and that's something that inspires some of my spells to this day because of the connection to africa and what all it is that she represented so that's something that i like to honor when it comes to my glamour ritual in the present day and time so for the milk bath what i like to do is on a friday draw a bath and make sure that it's warm but obviously not too hot i then take either powdered milk or actually cow's milk and i pour it in the bath two cups because i like my water super super milky the next thing that i do is i add honey to the bath soap and then roses using my right hand which is what i use in order to direct energy i place it in the water and i stir it three times while i'm stirring the bath soak i'm thinking about feeling beautiful feeling like a goddess and attracting things into my life that i feel that i am worthy of now when i say that i feel that i'm worthy of this is a very healing practice that i like to do for myself and i like to share it with other people because sometimes when you're growing up or at some point in your life there's certain things that can come in and impact you to make you feel like you are less than that you are not worthy whether it be a relationship whether it be you being bullied whatever it is there's sometimes this little voice that echoes in your head that says i'm not worthy of these things now when i take my right hand and i'm thinking about me feeling beautiful and vibrant and glowing and confident i'm not only infusing that energy into my bath soak but i'm drawing in those things that it is that i want in my life and it could be something very superficial like a bag or a beautiful apartment or a thousand thread count sheets it doesn't matter whatever it is that i want and that i want to draw into my life is something that i'm infusing into the bath soak the milk and the rose and the honey together are not only moisturizing but they work together in order to infuse goddess energy into your life if it was good enough for cleopatra to do this bath soak every day then it's good enough for you, trust me. The other soap that I like to use is kind of similar, the same thing, only with Epsom salts or some type of detox sea salt, like dead sea salt or Himalayan salt. It's up to you to kind of feel out and gravitate towards whatever it is that is resonating with you. But either way, Epsom salts and salts in general are phenomenal for detoxing and purifying if you feel like you need to do that. Sometimes I feel like the best way for me to feel beautiful is I allow, if I allow myself to release and to purge and to cleanse and detox soaks are amazing for that. The one recipe that I can share with you guys that I personally love is red clover, which red clover itself does not 
um, bring in beauty and glamour per se, but it does make you kind of lucky. I pair that up again with rose and lavender and sometimes jasmine flowers. That combination by itself alone is so powerful when it comes to being an attraction magnet, when it comes to being glamorous, when it comes to being beautiful. Again, it's the rose itself for me personally is not enough in order to make your beauty inside and out be more substantial. I'm not really sure the right way to explain it, but it's kind of a vibe that it is that I follow. So the rose by itself, for me, again, is something that I feel like is a little superficial. And I say this as I'm surrounded by roses. You guys, look, I've got roses all over. And I'm so sorry to say it because I feel like they're listening to me. But again, I just think like they, they represent love and beauty, but I want a little more than that. I want to take it to the next level. And Jasmine is always connected to like the soul and marriage and commitment just as well as hibiscus is connected to purity of heart, passion, and beauty, stunning beauty. That's why, again, the Miss May Beauty Spray is my absolute favorite because it just has everything that it is that I would want and need every single day, and I do use it every single day. The last thing that I wanna to say, too, is that when you're working with a beauty spray, if you're making it for yourself or if you're buying it from my shop, make sure that you're setting the intention of what it is that you want, like the properties of that um, beauty spray to infuse, what it is that you want it to do for you every single day, and write those things down. Now, everyone is different. Some people like to write it down in red ink or pink ink or gold ink. Gold ink is my favorite. But you can use a regular Sharpie pen. You guys know that I have Sharpie pens that I absolutely love, that I've been working with since day one, that I talk about since day one. Sharpie Fine Point should actually sponsor all of my videos because that is the pen that I use <laughs> all the time, without a doubt. I don't write my intentions down unless I absolutely have to without a Sharpie Fine Point pen. That's just what works for me because it again is setting in this this intent that my intention is permanent and it ain't going nowhere so it has to manifest itself people are different though some people like to gravitate towards red ink some like to gravitate towards pink ink i don't think that there is a huge difference when it comes to it but again it's up to you to kind of uh, see and feel out what works for you I still feel like um, the same way that you work with colored ink is the same way that you can work with candles. I pretty much stick with white candles across the board when I'm working magic spells for myself or doing ritual, no matter if I'm drawing in money or abundance or security or relationship or an opportunity or whatever the case is, I, I gravitate towards white candles and then I just use an oil used from the herbs in my pot the carry which i just happen to have here because i'm sitting at my altar i just use a, a specialized oil that i create for myself for that specific intention that being said i feel like it only makes sense for me to talk about charmed items and this means to infuse the energy of what it is that you're trying to attract or what it is that you're trying to do into an object. Now, one of the major things and most common things that witches will use, and myself included, is a lipstick or a beauty item. So lipstick or lip gloss. I actually have one thing in particular that I have charmed that I only pull out on special occasions, and it is from MAC. It's a Dazzle Glass. Let me see if I can find it really quickly, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I found it. This is my charmed gloss, lip gloss that I have. And it is from, oh, let's see if I could do this. It's from MAC. It's their Dazzle Glass. And it's in the color Funtabulous. The name is Funtabulous. And the reason why I use this Oop, let me focus. Okay, the reason why I use this lip gloss is because it was special. It was something that I went out and I sought, sought it, like specifically, and because I wanted something that reminded me of glamour and what it was that I was trying to bring into my life, which is um, I wanted people, when I put on this lip gloss and when I charmed it, I wanted people to hear my words, see the beauty in my intention, see the beauty within me, and then also find me fabulous and stunning and a head turner. Now, obviously, when you look at this lip gloss, it is a head turner, in my opinion, because of the pink and the glossy little sparkles. It's not something that I would wear every day because I'm most kind of, I gravitate mostly toward more neutral colors and more um, matted colors for my own self personally. But again, this is no everyday 
lip gloss not because it's mac and not because it's dazzle glass but because i charmed it i specifically set the intent that this lip gloss was going to do these things for me and the only time i wear this lip gloss is when i am trying to turn heads and i'm trying to break necks so that's what you should do and that's what you should keep into consideration when you are charming something when it comes to glamour, love, beauty, and attraction. That, that when you put this item on, this is what it is that it's going to do for you without a doubt, hands down. The way to do that for me personally is to move in alignment with what's going on astrologically. So make sure that you are on a full moon or a waxing moon so the energy is building up or in full completion and to sit down at your altar, surround yourself with roses, write down the intent of what it is that you want for that, that lip gloss or that item. Everyone is different. Some people it's powder, like a powder on their face. They have it right in front of them. They have certain oils that they're using. Me personally, I work with oils. That's what works for me. That And they make the concoction, they make the mixture, they make the potion with um, the oils and the herbs combination. And while they're doing that, they're thinking about and visualizing what it is that they want in their life in that oil in with those herbs. Then they take their item and then they place it in the center of their altar and they anoint that object with the that oil with said oil and they let it sit there and absorb absorb while it is sitting there and absorbing all the energy of the intent of what it is that you're putting in and on that item you are then visualizing again the energy of that surrounding it even as I'm talking about this I can see and feel everything of what it is that I would want for that lip gloss or for the intent of that lip gloss because you're charming that object I can see it and surrounding it and be like this is going to be the game changer this is what's going to make me a movie star this is what's going to make me a, a, you know huge when it comes to whatever so that's how you charm an item now again you can use it for oils you can use it for a mist it's up to you for example I have used orange blossom water before or rose water where I've charmed it and put a charged crystal within it and then I use that to mist or to set the intention of what it is that I wanted for that item and whenever I use it it, the only time when I pull it out and use it is when I'm ready to allow it to work its magic. You only have to do it one time. Energy doesn't expire, but it is very powerful. That being said, the next thing that I want to talk about is hydration and charged water. This is kind of controversial from what I've seen and what I've heard because some people don't believe in this and I don't know why because I personally very much believe in it. Our bodies are pulled by the energy of the moon because we're 70% water or we're just, a, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but we're a lot of water. And I personally like to work with the energy and the essence of the moon. So naturally, I'm going to gravitate towards working with water when it comes to setting magic and glamour magic and my intent. So for me, I will take bottled water or filtered water and I will put it in a cup to start my day and I will surround it in rose quartz and I will charge it with the intent of beauty and health and vitality and vibrancy so that when I'm drinking it throughout the day that those properties and those essences are being infused and hydrating my body. Not only is water phenomenal for taking care of your body inside and out, but without it, we're just gonna be shriveled up, old, dry, hags just walking around being dehydrated and nasty and that's what I that's how I feel when I'm dehydrated I don't know about you but that's how I feel when I'm dehydrated and I don't have time for that I don't equate beauty with being dry and brittle and burnt out I don't I'm sorry so that's why water and being hydrated is so essential because not only does your skin change and you are more vibrant and healthy when you're drinking water but when you charge that water with rose quartz or actual quartz or spirit quartz or apophyllite surrounding it around it or selenite wands because if you moon charge water oh my gosh oh my gosh one of my favorite things to do is make batches of moon charge water and just have it in my fridge that's how bougie and glam i am but yeah that being said hydration is key another way to infuse the energy of beauty and glamour in your life and in your water is by adding the same type of plants and herbs that it is that I mentioned before where it comes to adding hibiscus and rose and jasmine into your water now of course this goes without saying but make sure that 
the roses that you are using that they are, are that they are organic and that they are safe to eat I can't I'm not gonna mention any names but I saw someone very popular on Instagram right now she added roses to her to her tea like actual petals of the roses and I can tell just being the 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 green thumb witch that I am I could tell that the flower that she put into that into her tea was just not safe for consumption because the qual like I don't want to get into it but the moral of the story is make sure specifically that the plants that you're ingesting are actually designed for you to ingest do you know what I mean because there are people who even go to Whole Foods and some and the, the flowers not all of the flowers that are available at Whole Foods should be plucked and put into your water or into anything that it is that you eat you really have to be careful about what it is that you're putting into your body not only is it pesticides but it's other things too that the the plant just is not pure so you want to make sure that again it's organic and that it is edible the last two things that i must talk about when it comes to glamour love attraction and beauty are what it is that you're focusing on and also healing so this is when we're going to start getting a little womp womp but honestly Honestly, I have to talk about it because if you don't feel good internally you are not going to glow you are not going to feel vibrant and one way of being able to heal yourself every day and no one expects you to be completely 100% heal and whole no matter what stage you're at in your life okay we all have traumas we all have things that happen to us and what I don't want is for people to think at any point on my YouTube channel or within my Bahati Vibe Tribe that they have to be whole in order to feel beautiful and stunning every day. The majority of us are broken in some way. You know what I mean? Like we're, 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 we're focusing on certain things and we're focusing on our healing in order to make sure that we are vibrant, that we are thriving, that we are feeling good. And sometimes there are things that are trigger that trigger us, and that's okay. So I don't want you to feel like you have to be this whole happy person in order to be a head turner, in order to be glam, in order to attract love into your life or abundance or whatever the case is. So this is what I want for, and this is a thing that I do for myself no matter if I'm feeling really high or really low, I do this every single day and I take my tarot deck, my larger tarot deck, and I shuffle it and I say, and I ask the cards, what is it that I need to hear or see or do today to help me to heal, to help me to feel good? And I shuffle the cards and I listen to the advice of them. After you pull that card, I highly recommend, but you don't have to do this, I highly recommend writing it down in your journal in order to capture what that card kind of meant for you and what its message is trying what its message is for you that day because sometimes it doesn't make sense in the moment and it kind of helps to kind of revisit maybe not with 24 hours later but maybe a week later or three weeks later or a month or a year those cards it'll be really impactful and interesting to see how they kind of all fell into place and what it was that they were trying to tell you and what it was that they were trying to teach you when it comes to your own healing so I really 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 wanted to talk about in this glamour ritual video that it's not only external but it's internal changes that it is that we're making and that's one of my favorite ways to focus on healing is of course by working with the tarot and my intuition because that is what I do and lastly is to focus on your pleasure to do things every single day that make you feel good and vibrant and beautiful now I feel like when people hear glam and beauty and love and attraction there's certain things or certain stereotypes that kind of stand out to them and they're like oh I'm gonna do these things but no what I want you to do is think about what makes you feel good internally that is going to make you to help you to feel glamorous and to help you feel loving and to help you feel attractive to not others we're not talking about others but to yourself what makes you want to be with you what attracts you to you that's what you want to be just like how honey is the sweet nectar of the gods and of our earth it's like well what is the honey of your life for me it's cups of jasmine tea with my favorite teacup and being with my kitty my kitty my puppy and reading books and books and books while it's raining and when the moon's out now that's a very specific pleasure but it's that's what I love it's what I love now granted I'll drink the same cup of tea I'll have the same biscuits I'll have the same cat and dog near me if there's a, the sun is full 
and out, whether it's raining out, whether it's a waxing moon or a waning moon or a new moon, it doesn't matter. That's, the, that's just something that I like, that gives me pleasure, that may not, you know, equate to feeling glamorous and feeling luxurious but at the end of the day i feel so relaxed i feel so beautiful i feel like the time that i spent for myself by myself doing what it was that i want is so glam it's so luxurious it's so rare sometimes especially in today's society in today's world not everybody has that luxury but guess what i do and you do so you're able to create that time for yourself by focusing in on your pleasure and what makes you feel good now if you want to factor in all of these things all of these glamour rituals into your life i can guarantee you within under a month you're going to be not only turning heads because of course that's what happens but you're going to be feeling phenomenal internally you're going to be feeling luxurious you're going to be feeling like a goddess no matter if the world is for you or against you. It doesn't matter. Nothing is going to shake up the awesomeness of how you've been vibing lately. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Make sure that you're subscribed. If you love this video, please hit the thumbs up. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.